Hello everyone and welcome once again to Captain Goodspeed Maths. I'm Joe if you're new around here and today we are discussing the OCR FSMQ new spec and in particular the sine and cosine rule which you should be familiar from uh, GCSE uh, and, and you know maybe even earlier in some schools but uh, the learning objective today is to be able to use the sine and cosine rule to work out the lengths and angles. So first, appreciate the geometry of any triangle. So far, you've only studied right angles. Um, you know, if you haven't seen the sine and cosine rule at all before, then you will have only studied right angle triangles. So we have the corners in capitals and the sides in lowercase opposite the corner. So uh, A goes to little a, B goes to little b, and C goes to little c. So the sine rule states that a over sine A is equal to B over sine B and C over sine C. So uh, we stick our A there, we stick our B there, we stick our C, C, C there. So that is exactly what it means. So it means uh, this little C over here divided by the sine of the big C is uh, equal to little A over sine A, which is also equal to B over sine B. Crazy. <laughs> Example one, work out the, the, the following missing length then. So we've got a little triangle there, uh, we've got two angles, we've got a length, and um, we want to work out uh, B. So we apply the formula A over sine A equals B over sine B. Substitute the numbers in, we've got 12.6 over sine 40. Remember, opposites attract in terms of uh, sine and, uh, and cosine rule, uh, and that equals B over sine B. Uh, B, which is which is 65. We then rearrange, uh, so we say 12.6 times sine 65 uh, over sine 40 is equal to B. So stick that in your calculator. Ah, I haven't bothered to do it, but in an exam, make sure you do. And have it in degrees. You know, I know some people are pesky and put radians uh, on calculators. Make sure it's uh, in degrees. Second example then, work out the following missing angle. So this time we've got an angle that's missing and uh, we've, we're given two, two lengths and uh, another angle. So we've got our formula, A over sine A equals B over sine B. Substitute in, we've got 4 over sine 26 equals 7 over sine X. Rearrange, so we get sine X equals uh, 7 over sine 26 uh, 7 sine 26 over 4, and then we'd work that out and do the shift sine function uh, on our calculator. So the cosine rule uh, states similarly, uh, so we've uh, got our triangle once again. So we've got a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. So it starts off like Pythagoras and then we get the angle involved. Uh, finishes with uh, the angle opposite where you start at. So um, we, we, we're starting at a squared, uh, we do our little bit of Pythagoras and then we do minus 2bc cos angle that we started at, or opposite the angle that we started at. Um, so if, if you have a look at it, I don't know uh, why it was completely grey there, but there you go. Uh, it only comes into effect if you've got uh, an angle trapped in between two sides or you were given uh, all three sides. So that is when you know to use the cosine rule. If it's trapped in between, uh, like a pair of scissors, and uh, if you're given all three sides. So that's the only time you can ever use the cosine rule. So let's do an example then. Work out the following missing length. Uh, so we've got two sides, an angle, and uh, we want to work out A. Uh, we are given an angle in between two sides. So that means we can use the cosine rule. So we're going to stick the cosine rule there. We're going to substitute in. So we've got a squared equals 6 squared plus 9 squared minus 2 times 6 times 9 times cos 75. Uh, that the angle opposite where you started out. We calculate that. So a squared is 89.04. And then we square root it. So a it should be a little a there, uh, but that equals 9.4 centimetres. Don't forget your units. 
Second one then, uh, we want the angle um, and we are given all three sides, so again, this is a cosine job. We start with that and then we uh, stick in our numbers, so we've got 4 squared is equal to 8, 8 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 8 times 7 times cos x. We then rearrange uh, to get cos x equals 0 0.866, so the final answer is x equals 30 degrees. We can also work out the area of a triangle using trig. So area equals a half AB sine C, uh, and just like the cosine rule, we can work out the area when you have an angle trapped between two sides. So um, here's an example then. So we've got uh, 6 and 9 uh, as our side lengths, and we've got an angle 75. So we've got an angle trapped between two sides. So we can work out the area using the formula area equals a half AB sine C. Uh, so substitute that in, or substitute the numbers in, and calculate the area. Don't forget your units, centimetres squared for area, of course. Uh, but there you go, that is the area. You don't need to use half base uh, times the height with these ones. You can, uh, if you're given an angle and two sides around it, you can work out the area of any triangle. But that is where we're going to leave it for today. Just a quick one on sine and cosine rule, because I am conscious you've probably done it at GCSE. If not, uh, the PowerPoint will be uploaded online, so make sure you do uh, check it out uh, and go through it at a slower pace if you need to, and uh, find plenty of examples online as well. If you found it helpful, make sure you leave a like down below, uh, and uh, if it's unhelpful, then let me know down in the comments what I can do differently. Uh, best of luck for your FSMQ. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thank you for very much watching and goodbye.